Hey, YouTube Rando here. I wanted to show you how we uh, start off our food storage. Uh, and this is the way we started at both times. <coughs> now, how much you need is up to you. Uh, <clears throat> there's no strict guidelines for it. We kind of pull the list offline uh, from a reputable source and went from there but we adjust the list quite a bit and I'm going to show you what list I'm talking about uh, now. kind of see I'll go down it you can pause it or whatever and this is a one year food storage for one person this is uh, what they suggest you have at a minimum I'm hoping you can see that. So there you go. Uh, now, we go off this list, but we don't strictly abide by this list. We kind of just use it as a starting point, like... Uh, white rice and what we do is is this is how we start it we do 30 days so what we'll do is is we'll times this by four so 70 pounds of white rice for four uh, 70 pounds for one person 280 for uh, four people and you know then you just take and divide that by 12 and it tells you how much supply you should have for a month now we overdo a little bit on some stuff and underdo others like uh, just for instance, uh, they tell you you need, let's see, eh, where was it, 48 cans of tuna, so we'll say 50, so that's 200 cans. Well, what we did, come over here, you can see my list, and this is just uh, kind of the cheapest stuff we can do. Uh, we have canned salmon on here somewhere, right there. So what we do is uh, we put 125 cans of tuna and 75 cans of salmon. Now that sounds, you know, 200 cans of fish, but there's a lot more in the uh, salmon than there is in the tuna. So you're getting more meat. Uh, so that's what I mean by we overdo everything. And what I've done is I've labeled the exact amount we'll need uh, of each item. Go down the list here. And those are number 10 cans, one number 10 can of uh, pizza sauce and spaghetti sauce. Okay. So that's roughly a month's supply for four people of each of these items. Now, this is only probably 5% of the list, uh, this list. So, uh, it's not everything we need, of course. You know, once we get this all marked off, this is just the staples I know we can afford to buy right now. So that's why they're on here. And that's uh, all this is stuff we use uh, at least weekly, you know, so we can uh, rotate it out. But like the rice and beans, that won't get rotated out. We'll just leave that sealed up uh, for now so we know we have 30 days supply regardless. And then uh, kind of the same thing with salt. And salt, you see it's uh, 10 pounds. So that's what, uh, two and a half pounds a person a month, but that's not just for eating, that's for uh, cleaning as well. We make our dish soap out of, uh, we use salt and dish soap for hard water. Uh, you can use it to cure your meat, I mean you can use it for a lot of things. So uh, we overdo salt quite a bit. I, I say we need 400 pounds of salt for a year. But that includes salt licks for hunting, that includes, uh, you know, the baking soda uh, cleanser. Uh, now, baking soda, that's another, uh, shit, I don't think it's on here. Yeah, it is right there. Five pounds. Uh, now, again, that's, you know, uh, what? A little over one and a half pounds per person. That sounds like a lot of baking soda, but... That's, that includes making uh, our own shampoo if we had to. 
you know, I, I don't want to be dirty in an SHTF situation. Uh, I, I would take baths, you know. Um, last time our grid went down down here, and, and we had no power for quite a while, uh, we still had running water. You just couldn't drink the water. You know, they told you it was safe for uh, bathing, but you shouldn't uh, drink it for some reason. You know, I guess uh, one of the tanks had been compromised, so we kind of, uh, we still able to take baths, so run out of shampoo and conditioner, can't go buy none, use baking soda and make your own. And we're going to do a video on that too. Uh, so I'm just going to show you kind of our shelf. Now this is just pantry shelf here. This is a... Uh, this is all the 30 day supply and what we do is we put them in these totes so that if we ever did have to evacuate because of a hurricane or something we could uh, take it with us as much of it as we could anyways uh, and I know you're thinking well 30 day supply for a hurricane don't make sense but like I said last time the power went out down here we was out for a good month you know uh, four or five weeks something like that we went without power hell we went a week and a half to two weeks without a grocery store you know, and then when the grocery store did open, they didn't have any fresh meat. All they had was canned goods and box goods and, you know, what have you, whatever they had in the back. Uh, but they didn't have power for so long. Every piece of meat they had in the store went bad, you know. So this is where we're at right now, and that's how, that's kind of how we do this. We'll just keep taking one item at a time off this list, and we'll times it by four. And then we'll make our adjustments as well. Uh, like I said, we did it with the tuna. I over I overkill on the rice uh, instead of 280 pounds. I actually marked it down as 300 pounds. Uh, we did 200 pounds of beans. Now this says you should uh, use canned beans here. Uh, well, 15 ounce canned bean. Where's that at? Canned bean, 96 cans. So you're looking at almost 100 pounds, 90 pounds or something like that of beans. So we'll just say 100 pounds, but that's wet beans. So four people, 400 pounds of beans, uh, dry beans would only be like, you know, whatever, 200 pounds. And that's actually what we have it marked down as is 200 pounds, because 200 pounds of dry beans will convert into 400 pounds of wet beans. And I don't know the actual math on that, but you see where I'm coming from about the adjustments. Uh, how we have to adjust this stuff because not all of it a lot of it we don't prep with uh, can roast beef and stuff like that 24 cans that would be a hundred cans almost what 96 uh, for four people we don't do that uh, so we'll we'll replace that with something else you know a vegetable soup or something but uh, another good reason to start your food storage now I want you to see this at the beginning of 2008, this list would have cost you about $1,385. That's 2008. 2009, it would have cost you uh, about $200 more. And then in 2010, a year later, it would have cost you $100 more. So if you buy, you know, 280 pounds of rice now, then you're saving money as it's gradually going up in price you're not buying rice so you're saving money that entire time you know uh, so it just makes sense to buy in bulk and put back even if you're not uh, prepping or if you're not doing it you know long term years and years and years which we don't we use them uh, all of our preps actually get used eventually uh, sometimes we just get broke can't afford to go to the store hey pull something out the cabinet and, and make it work you know <clears throat> so, you know, that's why we do what we do and that's how we do it. Uh, we're going to have a new video coming out in the uh, food prepping series, the food storage series. We haven't got much put back again, uh, but we have a little bit more than we did. So we're going to add to that series on another video here in a couple days. Thanks for watching, YouTube.